think that's a, this is a very equitable division of labor. Oh my. I think you need to say that again. <laughs> yeah. What was that? I think this is a very equitable division of labor. Me doing everything while you enjoy yourself? It takes a long time to be as good of a cook as you are. Oh. It also takes a long time to, to boogie. You can have live music while you cook. It's a win-win. Gee, thanks. <laughs> Do you want me to cook? Oh, uh, no, you just sit back and enjoy yourself, sweet husband. Yeah. I got this. Don't you worry. Taking requests. <laughs> Me too. You want no eggs or no eggs? It's a beautiful looking breakfast. It is. I'm going to love it. I'm going to so enjoy it. Four eggs to myself, five links, whole pan of hash browns, it two looks, pieces of toast. It looks like you have a lot of food there. Probably, probably more than one person could even eat. I don't know. I'm going to give it a good try. <laughs> Broke it. I'll take that one. It's unacceptable. That's it right there, baby. Come on, spoiled husband. Yay! Here's your brekkie fist. Thank you, babe. Where's my coffee? Hot sauce. So it's a very chilly morning. It's been raining all night, raining all morning. This guy got to wake up to pretty much luxuriousness like he always does. You said great. It was so cozy, I would have stayed in bed. But. Yeah. Dear Lord, thank you so much for this food and thank you for this warm tent. And we thank you for this day and we ask that you forgive us when we fall short. And we thank you for this food in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. That. It is going to be a wonderful day. Hopefully we'll hopefully we'll get Jill and Kent's well in. Hopefully we'll quit raining. Yeah. So we're pretty excited today. We get to go help some friends put in a well. They're actually neighbors at home. And now they're neighbors up here too. So we're gonna go to their off-grid property and help them put in a well. So we're super excited to help them. Great people. Oh, this is hitting the spot. Mm-hmm. Mm. Delish. Mm-hmm. There's always something to be said about slow cooked food too. Mm-hmm. My grandma used to cook bacon. It's super slow. It'd drive you nuts. That's right. But it always turned out perfect. Because you never you never burn it that way. It doesn't curl up, you know. It's I remember her cooking bacon just super slow, all the time. She never botched it though. It was always it was always exactly what you want. And you can botch bacon. You can too, totally. Breakfast cooking is a whole fine art of all of itself. So this is not looking really awesome with the sleet coming down. It's it's a pretty cold day. It's been pretty wet. But we're on our way to Kent and Jill's place and we're gonna put that well in one way or another. We are getting there, getting closer. All right, we made it. We finally found them. 
I like the fact that they're yeah. going way back in here. Yeah, totally. Yo, yo, they we're here. They must have a circle drive. They do, that's what they wanted to do. That's killer. Yeah. We made it. Wow, these guys we are back in here. That's pretty sweet. Yes. Now it's not such a big deal. <laughs> Remember I told you we were gonna go help my friend Jill, her husband Kent today, pound in a well. We're here at their property. We're so excited to help them. We we're actually neighbors in two spots. So it's like neighbors helping neighbors. We're so happy to help them put a well in today. So they got their spot picked out. We are in progress. Hopefully we hit water today. I think Dave's got all the parts this time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not exactly 100% confident now that you it's just it's such a horrible thing to lose to forget stuff. I don't I don't think we're missing anything, but who knows. So here's Kent getting started. He is we're going to get down as far as we can go with the uh, post hole digger. It just gets gets you farther down with the pipe, so he's going to get warmed up here real quick. Look at these cool colors going on here of this, the layers of the soil. Pretty cool. We got the top, the middle, and then down to sand. So hopefully we're not going to have any problem getting the, getting down to the water. And after this, we'll just put this in the pipe. Watch your hands. We'll slide her down. I'm just going to drop it. Okay. You drive? Yeah. yeah he's <laughs> like, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's going good. Do you uh, ever check it for plum, or do we? Yeah, we'll check it for plum. I think I'm a little bit off. About okay. five of those. That's about it. That's about all you want. We're not terribly far. Okay. Off. Yeah, this sucks, doesn't it? It gets a lot better once it starts getting about to where it's at, or a little lower. Why well, it's not moving at the moment? I wonder if we're on a root or something. I don't know. It did stop, though. It did. Yep. Or if we're just in a level of that, or a, a layer of that hard stuff. Could be. It's like I said, I had two in the outhouse. All right. We'll give her a few, few minutes. It wouldn't be a rock. No, the biggest rocks we found are like. Right. Yeah, it sure does. Huh. Okay, let's see. Will that come out? You guys put a chain on it, use the skid here. Yeah. Stuck in something. Yeah, it is. I think once we get it out, we can straighten that point. Feels like wood, doesn't it? I think it's got to be because it's a it's rock. Springy. It would just stop. Well, it's like springy when you guys move yeah. it around. Yeah, it's it's got to be wood. So we think we might have t-boned into some kind of root way down there. So Kent's gonna get his skid steer. They're gonna rig up a chain, yank it out, and move the location of the pipe. Green's fine. Got a heck of a bend right there. So we I bet right in the bucket of that skid steer would be a good spot. Oh yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, so. And we see a new hole. Yes we do. Not that we're not going back in that one. No. <laughs> Round two. You're doing great, Kent. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> good. Yeah, when that hammer bounces. That's yeah. Not good. It's not good. Mm -mm. No. That is a bad sign. Just I'll spell you when you're ready, Jill. You what? I mean, at least it was I'll something. spell you. I okay. Yeah, Thanks, I mean, buddy. You see it in the tap. Color. You gotta tap me. Oh. Tap. I'm tapped in. <laughs> that guy from out west, that DB Cooper. Oh, DB oh, Cooper. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's where DB Cooper buried all his money. Trying to take a layer off. Yeah. I think we're all right at the moment. All right. Thank. 
Okay, yeah. you ready? Yep. Good. Last time I dropped that, it was face like that that hit my brim. I saw it. I saw that. I'm like, I was like, oh. I was wondering who else saw that. <laughs> I saw it. Like I saw if that had hit me. <laughs> Doesn't help you like nine foot tall. It probably would have knocked oh, out cold. It knocked, knocked me colder than a rock, man. <laughs> but it'll be a while before it stops moving around. My arms are rubber. It's not that high. It's so I'm really high. tired out from Jill digging the hole. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't really dig it. it. Doesn't look like it's moving now. Dude! Same thing? That bounced an awful lot. Sure seems like it's bouncing. What the hell's down there? Where's the easy spot where we can just what stuff about this well in? Because you dug that yeah. hole. You dug that whole sand hill out of there. There was wasn't trees in that, was there? Was there trees in that big huge sand hill that was there? Where the skid loader is, there was no big trees. What about right here? What? I don't remember. No, there was no big ones there either. That's why it's open. There's only one reason that's open. Let's try there then. I mean, okay, but there is that giant maple. Oh goodness! All right, so look at this. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that ain't going nowhere. Where did the ice? That Where looks like it? a great spot for a well. <laughs> this way one? better than that spot. All right, Ready round three. Water? You're gonna start making fun of me. I'm gonna start making fun of you. Oh, in an hour, you'll be pumping water. <laughs> <laughs> This is the spot, I feel it. <laughs> Look how soft it is already. Happy. Well, to be fair, where, where we put our well is trees all around it. Big That's ones. That's true. There is, there huge is. trees. Yeah, you're right. Did we have a you well in when you guys were there yet? Big, big trees. You've yeah. just gotten it. Okay. Yeah, I don't know, man. Because you were like, look it. I don't think <laughs> That's I don't what know. it's like, dude. It's like, man. Well, you know what? Oh, look. New, new can, we can keep trying until we find a spot that goes. Once it gets pounding, it's it's good. Right. There's a layer of cement down there. <laughs> hey, what's the cat's name at the vet's office? Skeletor. Skeletor? <laughs> what? It is? Yeah, there used to be one named Grace, but she died. And you and she was replaced with Skeletor? <laughs> yeah, Skeletor came and he was completely Scrawn and bones, and he had to be bottle fed. That's why he's super naughty, and he does oh. whatever he wants. What do you mean? Because our kitty is super naughty. He that's that's Hobo's brother or whatever. Oh. Oh, is it? We got a cat that looks just like the one at the vet. That he's a one, punk too. He's a turd. The one at the vet come from Barb's barn. Well, one and there was Barbara. Buck before that, and Buck was a <laughs> like yeah. you'd walk by and he'd bite you in the back of the arm. <laughs> Like hard. He wasn't playing. He's like, you're like, get off me. Shake him loose. Alright, I'm gonna just do that. Becky oh, I'm hit this tree too. It. Today I heard you do it. I'll take a turn. Oh, what a gentleman. Well, if I should now. Do it. <laughs> do it. <laughs> do it, she said. Oh. Attention, attention! Dave Whipple is working! <laughs> I'm a cement finisher by trade. Don't talk shit to me like what? that. I see you take a lot of naps. Well, I like naps. <laughs> naps are awesome. Naps are the best. Let's take a nap before we came. <laughs> this is the magic. This is it right here. Magic hole. Your well was meant to be right here. Good to get back. Yeah. Oh. This is terrifying to watch. Oh man. I'm like, we're going to the yard. That's okay. terrifying. When you first brought this thing out, I was thinking 70 pounds. Now I think about 210. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take the first shift on it. <laughs> Putting it in there is a hairy, hairy thing. Notice. <laughs> I think you got an advantage because you're like that much taller. It helps. Don't make it any lighter. No. <laughs> Tell me it's going down. Yeah. It, yeah, it is. I mean, I was hoping to see like this much of a wag. But... <laughs> What's it doing? You guys got some stubborn ground, man. 
Well, let's look like it's going. <laughs> what did it take us to drive ours? About an hour? Yeah, it took us like an hour, but we just broke the point on this one. Oh, that's not a good, that's not gonna work. How do you guys feel about rainwater? <laughs> <laughs> So I'll give you a quick overview of what's gonna happen today, kind of a layout of the land of what we have planned, so you can visualize the space and what we wanna do. All right, this is where we park, and if you rotate around, here is our wall tent, and we have another tent behind it. A fire area. We have this really beautiful ridge here that we kind of are high above, and over here is where the cabin is going to go. Now the big question we've had is whether we're gonna cut this big hemlock tree here or not. It's kind of in the middle of the building area. Today with the skid steer, we're gonna have Kent kind of just take all this and level it out, push some of this uh, organic material over the edge of the ridge, but this will be our building spot. And you can see as I turn back around, there's our original camp right there. So um, super excited to see some progress. We just have this big, beautiful ridge that we're high above. And we'd like to clear out some of these trees. Um, some of these smaller trees will be going so we can see some of the bigger, beautiful trees. But really nice, lovely ridge here that our cabin's gonna sit above. So. That's kind of what we're looking at today, clearing out this space, getting ready for the cabin. It's the beginning of October. It was about, uh, it was low 30s this morning waking up. So we've got a fire going in the tent. We've we got a nice fire going outside to just warm up by as we work today, but it's, it's an absolutely beautiful fall day. Good day to get work done. I guess. Steers here in the while he was going to clamp some bowls and turn them into steers and do it. Take the fish and put them into all this. I don't know if they found them up there. Then he did. He brought the horses down there and let us watch the whole damn thing. And it's just amazing how he uses horses to move cattle, you know. Cool. Where's he at? Okay, guys, so you can either do just burgers or Reuben burgers totally or Reuben burgers. a brat with amazing. onion and pepper. Mm. Yep. Whatever. It's all up for grabs. Sounds amazing. There's no time like right now. And then yeah. there's coleslaw right. chips, like 
it's all available. So the plates are there. Pressure. Are you going to do the Reuben? I sure am. Is it? Right. Yeah. I'll give it a while. And it's like 6% too, so you have two of them. Yeah, you you're so done. So that, yeah. and then you're good to go. some corned beef. Sarka? Yeah. Is the flavor? I don't oh, remember. Oh, oh. I don't know. Kent, you just want a regular burger? That or a brat. I might just get a brat. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna go with the Reuben burger. Oh my gosh, yes. All oh, those cheesers look like they come from the Amish store. They try them. those. Are You're so gonna good. love those ones. Yeah, they're from the Amish store. Yeah. Okay, I hope so. Man, what is up with that driver making your hands just not work? <laughs> you know, I have not gotten over it yet. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> my ring finger is like I got like a new callus underneath my <laughs> ring just from that. I woke up this morning going, nope, still doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, totally. <laughs> Oh, your slaw is righteous, babe. Is it good? Yeah, it is. Yeah, Doing a yeah. Reuben I mean, burger. So I got a burger, corned beef, sauerkraut, that. Russian said, yeah. dressing. I was like, this is the creepy, it's creepy. Gonna try I this. Know, I, saw, I saw that place, I'm like, it's got potential. Yeah. You know, you could see it. Mike's like, yeah, I'd, I'd buy that if they sold it. I think it was the first one. <laughs> it was, yeah. <clears throat> That's not bad. This is really good. I like it a lot. Is it like what you thought it'd be like? Mm-hmm. A Reuben with an extra meat addition. You can't really can't go wrong. You can't. Mm-mm. Pine Junction's got some good burgers now. Oh my gosh. Where? Over Pine on Stump Junction. Oh, so good. Page 37, H 57, what's that road? Runs up to Deer Park. I oh, think it is 37. Best burger ever. Huh, I don't think we've ever yeah, eaten there. I think he ended up taking one of the AMC motors and they're like, well, the problem is, is these motors all come out of wrecked cars. Nobody's looking for a 258 yeah, AMC because they don't really break. Oh, like if you car. got one and yeah. your car isn't junk, your motor's fine. Yeah, you know, like they that. just run. They just go yeah, and go and go. Even when they're wore out, they just yeah. keep going. Like super, so like all super these, close. all these AMC motors are mm -hmm. worth nothing because there's nobody looking for one. That would be the, your head to town. Hey, dude. So Kent got done really late last night. It was dark working on this piece. And uh, so we're out here this morning just kind of surveying it and seeing it in the daylight and imagining where the cabin's gonna go. And we're still debating on this big hemlock tree. Uh, it's kind of in the middle of the space. We don't know if we're gonna build around it or take it down. But it is amazing to see this open space finally. This is the hemlock that we're not sure we're gonna keep. But look at how great this turned out. Just amazing. It's a chilly morning, we just had breakfast, but uh, looks like it's finally gonna stop raining today and be a nice day. I'll show you the ridge. I cleared out a lot. I've got all that mess to clean up now. I cut everything into poles, and what I'm gonna do is just lean the poles up against a big tree so they can dry all winter, and then burn the very tops of the trees in a pile. 
but yeah really opened that up super super excited about that well guys hope you like the video making progress i'll see you in the next one this is girl in the woods she gone oh don't forget to get outside and get happy